Hi, today we're going to talk about sub accounts, why they are important, and specifically how to create them in QuickBooks. The first thing you might be wondering is why do I need sub accounts or why are they important? Well, sub accounts allow you to group similar items in your accounting software to allow you to see more detail and allow you to make business decisions faster. Let's say, for example, you have been booking all your IT related uh, expenses to one account called IT expense. How do you know if you're spending too much on your server costs or if your IT support has gotten out of control? The quickest answer is you don't really know. You may see that your overall IT expense has increased, but you, you really don't have an idea why. The simple, the simple solution is to create sub-accounts that roll up into the main account. This will allow you to see more detail as well as the overall total and make uh, your reports more useful. Let's start out with uh, regular QuickBooks 2010. You can see a chart of account here. Uh, and we're just going to go to right click on the chart of accounts. Um, so if, you, if you're just coming into your home screen, uh, you can either click on chart of accounts or under company and then chart of accounts. Uh, one important thing I want to point out is I'm not sure. Uh, a lot of clients that I work with, I come into their QuickBooks and it looks like this. One of a very helpful item is to go here under view and click this open window list and that shows you exactly everything that you have open. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. But right click on your chart of accounts, click new, and we're going to create an expense account. We're going to call it, this will be the main account, so we'll call it IT expense. And then under IT expense, we're going to create a new account called, uh, let's see, support. Well, let's call it IT support. And you're going to check this sub account box and then start typing in IT expense and save and close. And let's also create another one and call it uh, server. Again, click the sub account box IT, save and close. And you can see here now it's automatically already grouped things underneath this total. So I'm going to make a quick journal entry uh, just to show you exactly how it works. And so we spent $200. And let's say part of it was server, and part of it was support. All right. So now if you go to your profit and loss, you can see here you've got the overall total, as well as you've got the specifically what was related to IT support versus the server costs. Very helpful to see if the server cost gets out of control or if support gets out of control. Now I'm going to show you in QuickBooks Online how to go ahead and if you've already got a chart of accounts and and just already and want to create some sub accounts with what the accounts that you already have it's really simple. Um, I'm going to go down here to uh, let's see, we'll go automobile, if I can find it, so car and truck expenses, you can see there's already sub accounts here, but we're going to create, turn these other ones into sub accounts as well. Um, all you do is select the account, click edit, check the sub account box, and it's going to ask for the parent account. And we're going to use automobile, car and truck expenses, excuse me. Save. And you can see. It's already there, right there. Uh, same thing with repairs and maintenance.
create a sub account, check the sub account box, car and truck expenses, save, now that one's moved and we'll also move this one. Select the account, hit edit, check the sub account box, current truck expenses, save, and then we'll go to the profit and loss, and you can see how much easier it is to see where these items are going. So you got your gas and oil, repairs and maintenance, registration, all broken out separately and giving you the total. Alright, that's it for today. Please feel free to give me a call or uh, check out our website for more information. Thank you.